All right, the main road that we need is closed going to Salt Lake City, so we're gonna have to take a detour. Um, I'm pretty sad, Malise sad. Yeah, there. Just blended up some delicious green smoothie and about to drink it. That's right, some of my roommates in the background hanging out. Next, I got the lifelong vitality pack that I'm going to take because once you eat, these can absorb better. So I got the Alpha CRS Plus, antioxidants and energy, the VE Omega for Omega 3s for supporting your brain, joints, and health, and then the Microplex VMZ, which is the whole food multivitamin mineral. Then we got the probiotic for PBSS Plus and the enzymes to help break it down in my food. Uh. And so I have like this little Sunday through Saturday. And so I'm just going to take this part and then I'm going to um, try to fill out the rest for the rest of the trip here. But yeah, that's what I do. And so I make sure I can take it twice a day. I just split up everything. Just getting the car loaded up. You know what I'm saying? So we got luggage in the back. Getting all that situated. Got the house. We got all the houses being built next to us over here too. So everything's a work in progress. We are all a work in progress. We all working towards something, striving, building up our own house. There's a quote that I just actually posted on social media today where it is basically saying that, you know, your body is the only home you have to live in, so don't sell yourself short. So that's kind of the motivation for today so far. <laughs> There'll be some more though. All right, we are finished packing. We got what we need. We got some water, food stuff. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. Hey, say hi, Malie. Hi, we're so excited. Yeah, this is Malie Simpson, my business partner, mentor, and friend. And we are just uh, getting ready here. And um, yeah, so we're gonna hit the road again. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some gas while we're on our way here at Costco and the lines, as usual, are pretty long. All right, we're getting some gas, gotta fuel up. There's a lot of fueling stations here. You got like two right here, two there, two there, and then you got like the same thing on like all of that. Check that out. It's like a NASCAR pit stop over here. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, that's good. So that helps with shorter lines and making things quicker. That's awesome. Whenever we talk about essential oils, we always talk about how a wholesale membership is related to da da da, like a Costco wholesale membership. Isn't that fancy? Okay, it smells like really bad. It smells like straight up car muffler fumes up in here. So we're gonna do some lemon oil or something. We got our diffuser. And we have a here. we have a diffuser. How about that? Yeah, it smells like petrochemicals in here. No bueno. Ugh. But I guess that's what you expect. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I don't know them. I just waved. Um, but yeah, <laughs> getting known in these streets. <laughs> mm. All right. All right, we got some lemon oil here. I'm actually gonna take some under the tongue because of the fumes. All right, detox there. Under the tongue, lots of good capillaries. Helps the, you know, absorption of all of that even improve. All right, so she's just putting some lemon oil in the car diffuser, boom. So lemon oil helps you to detox your liver and kidneys. It's really great. And it's got a little light. Boom, so we get to detox. You see the little mist. mist coming out there. We got the lemon oil. Let me grab that before it flies this away. on my hands because I could have touched, you know, any gasoline. Yeah, we're, yeah. Oof. Yeah, gas station places are like the perfect place to use lemon oil on your hands, under your tongue, and in a diffuser. That's right. Another good strategy is to drink water. I have some lemon oil in this is a glass container with a metal lid, so that's really good. 
Um, so we use lemon oil in it to help detox too, but this isn't the best when actually going on a road trip because then you have to use the restroom. So we are pulling into a coffee shop now so I can use the restroom and do the dang thing. All right, I just finished using the restroom here and uh, using some lemon oil too is good on your hands because it helps clean them. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head back to the car. We're gonna get on this road trip because I'm pretty excited right now and uh, we're gonna make it happen. Fourth convention that I've been to. Definitely wanna stay tuned for more. All right, the main road that we need is closed going to Salt Lake City, so we're gonna have to take a detour. Um, I'm pretty sad, Malise sad. Yeah, there. So we're gonna have to find out a way. There's a will, there's a way. This is a perfect analogy for life, that when life throws you a curveball and closes a road, you have to go around it and find another way to your end destination of where you want to be based on where you're at. So we always try to take a learner's mindset to everything, especially when we're traveling. Because it helps us keep our sanity, right? Or at least I like to think so. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the strip. So that is the convention center for Las Vegas. Um, the windshield is a little spotty. It's been raining, so it's like evaporating. But that's like the World Market Center. That's where all the things happen there. <laughs> that's a furniture store. Where all the furniture in Las Vegas gets bought. Oh, uh, that's where all the furniture gets bought. That's what Melissa said. Um, so we're actually taking a detour that's not taking us where we want to, but we'll find some other way to Salt Lake City. Oh, and here's the strip. You can uh, kind of see there's uh, we got Seattle right there. The, no, I'm just kidding. No, that's the um, stratosphere, and you got you know some some buildings up in here. I actually don't go to the strip very often. Hey, there's Trump Plaza there. Hey, there's Trump. You see Trump Plaza right there? Boom. Your Trump your and McDonald's. There's another picture of the stratosphere. That thing has like a little thing at the top. You see that? That's where people like hang oh, off and. I've done that before. Melise done that before. Fun. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Just yes. Let yourself go. Yeah. So we're taking a detour, stuck in some quasi traffic here, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. Any words of wisdom, Malie? We're just relax and enjoy the moment. We're gonna get there tonight, sometime before midnight, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe like five or six p.m. <laughs> All right, we are on the road, out of Vegas. Been out of Vegas, and we're just in straight up like desert land here, and really just seeing open roads for a long period of time. We are very excited. The doTERRA convention is an opportunity for really just to learn about the founder's story. A lot of come up stories with other wellness advocates, how they started from the bottom and now they're you know leading large teams. Also there's new products released and it's a great way to just be around a lot of oilers and the sea of purple as I like to say. And it's cool because we meet our team there as well and we have like some great camaraderie and, um, it's just an awesome event, whether you're new to doTERRA, like as a wholesale customer or wellness advocate, or if you're even just like not in doTERRA, it's just a great event to go to because you just learn so much and um, yeah, excited. We're excited, right? Very excited. It's the largest uh, convention in Salt Lake City ever. Yeah, so there's going to be 30,000 people there, so. 36. 36? Yeah. Oh, it increased? 36, yeah, they made room for more, so 36. What? 36,000 people. Last year was like 30,000, so. So you know. So it's growing. There's something to go to see there. 36,000 people decide they want to go to Salt Lake City for the weekend. Something's going on. <laughs> Something awesome's going on. <laughs> All right, we're going through the gorge right now. We're following a truck here, but this is like blasted rock that they had to like dynamite, dynamite through. And there's like, it's really cool though. There's like really high rocks here on our way. Definitely in Utah, state of Utah now, just making our way to St. George first and then to Salt Lake City. Yeah, so we're just, on our way to Salt Lake, enjoying the scenery. It's a very rocky road, <laughs> so to speak. Um, no, it's cool though, it's very scenic, and there's like lots of rocks like this along the way, so it's, it's pretty awesome. Pretty excited about it all. I mean, nature's, 
amazing. Um, it would really suck to get in a traffic jam over here, though, and that's happened to Malie before. Yeah, we won't go so, into that. Yeah. That's a whole nother video. Whole nother video. <laughs> She's not going to go into it, so. <laughs> Alright, we are in Cedar City, halfway through. Malia and I just switched spots. I'm about to drive this whip here, this this Lexus. So I'm kind of excited to push the start. Or actually, I have to press the... Right? Oh, snap. To press the... There we go. We got it. <laughs> oh, cool. That was close. Drinking my, you know, essential oil water. Mm-hmm. And then... Use some essential oils on my hands because they would, you know, anytime you're at a gas station, I think now I have what? Is it wild orange? Yeah, wild orange here. This is great. Boom. Yeah, just on the hands. Cleans them. And we're ready to go. So halfway through and we'll keep on trucking or carring. That's, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> to Young Living. Here we go. This is a road trip to Young Living. Whoa. All right, we are going to... Is that what they... Was that it right there? Or is it I'm like... I'm not sure. Let's look down the road here. And then we'll where's where's Young Living? We're, we're looking for Young Living. We saw a sign that said it was this way. Um, but maybe we passed it. We're just seeing homes. Utah, where it is located. It. That's adorable. Hmm. That was it. That was the. Well, maybe we should go back to that sign and knock on the door. Ask him if this is the farm. Okay. We expected, I guess, a bigger building, but yeah, you, know, you don't need that. It's a different farm called the Barrel. That's a roofing company. So we are at the Young Living Farm, I think. And as you can see, it's very scenic. Uh-oh. Oh, we got people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 